Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about installing the 82mm throttle body and the problems that come along uh, with that, particularly the check engine lights. Now as you can see, uh, we're logging into the car and we made it into the uh, ECM or the uh, motor electronics. Uh, this is the module that controls ignition and controls the engine as a whole. And of course, we can go ahead and bypass all of the warnings and whatnot. Uh, what we're trying to resolve today is the codes that a lot of you see uh, post the installation of the 82 millimeter. So there are two things we want to look at. We First of all, we want to make sure the system has no faults after you confirm that there are no leaks in the intake. So let's go ahead and check the codes of the ECM. And this is what we want to see. In your case, you're likely to see codes like 0505 and uh, other codes. Make sure you erase them and then go ahead and log into the uh, sensor adaption. Now, as you can see, the N1, N2, all of these entries, that means you have uh, the, uh, the ECM has completed the self adaption. So we want to erase that and allow the system to start over. So we're going to go to default initialization and there are some conditions here that need to be met. This will actually reset the throttle body and uh, it will allow the ECM to uh, learn the start point, the zero uh, angle and the 180 angle of the throttle body. So let's go ahead and say yes, we do want to reset. We want to make sure all of these conditions are met before we do, but uh, for now let's click yes. It's going to ask us to switch the ignition off, wait for 10 seconds until everything has reset. And then at the end of the 10 seconds, it's going to ask us to turn the ignition back on. Let's do that. And that will reset the learning process. And now as you drive the car, the, uh, the engine will readapt itself. It will try to to learn the limits of uh, sensors and it will try to learn the throttle ends as well. To confirm that we've done uh, the reset, let's go back and check the adaption. And as you can see, I have dashes in there. I don't have values anymore, which means the reset was successful. Next, the other thing we want to do is change the idle speed. And for that, we're going to go to the learning, uh, we're going to get out of the learning processes and uh, we're going to go to correction programming. Here we can see we have area to uh, manipulate the uh, idle speed in P position and N position. Uh, and obviously there is a coolant temperature uh, condition that needs to be met. Make sure that is met and the engine is running. And in this screen, uh, you can see the base value, that's the factory specified idle speed, and the corrected idling uh, value that I've uh, already dialed in in my car. Uh, I've added 50 to the number, and with the buttons with the F3, F4, F5, you can manipulate that number. F3 is going to reset it automatically to the factory default, and then with the plus and minus, you can fine tune that speed. Uh, the recommendation is to add 50 to the factory setting and that will allow the 82 millimeter throttle body uh, to uh, idle smoothly for one and for two it will make it easier for the ECM to meet the condition it's looking for at a higher idle speed as far as the reading of the uh, air mass uh, meter and it will make it easier for the engine uh, to meet the condition that will not throw the 0505 uh, error code or any other error codes. Next we want to adjust the idle speed in uh, the rest of the gears so anything beside P and uh, N. Uh, very similar to the previous procedure we just want to put the car in gear make sure you step on the brake and hold the brake and then do the exact same thing. The uh, factory specified idle speed for uh, in gear is 550 we want to add a 50 to that and set it to 600. So just like we did in the uh, previous step, we're going to try to shoot for 600, give or take 
a, a few numbers that's not a big deal and worth mentioning here that the uh, system will self adapt so even if you cannot the the actual speed is not exactly where you want it to be as long as the corrected idling specified speed is where you want it to be the car will eventually readapt the, the main thing here is to make sure you have no leaks in the intake and you should be fine now we can go ahead and exit and the good news is these uh, automatically store so we don't have to worry about uh, storing the values and just to confirm I'm gonna log back in into the speed for the P and make sure it is still giving me the same number so as you can see here my actual engine speed is uh, going up and down around 700 where I want it to be and that's it this is how you do it uh, hopefully this will give you uh, the chance to drive your car with 82 millimeter throttle body and without any codes. Good luck. Talk to you later.